Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I am ready to get started making some more things on the pottery wheel and uh, glazing. I don't have anything to glaze. I, I fired everything and glazed. Oh wait, sorry, take that back. I have three things that I have to bisque right now. So I'm a little low on my cycle here, but what I'm going to share with you is what I actually did last week. I did uh, some spiral bowls. I didn't use underglaze this time. I used uh, my high gloss black and, oh look at this, here we go. Yeah, can't you just stay down? I have a, a little issue in my shop here. We have some visitors. See, anybody want some kittens? We have a, an array. We only have two, but these little guys, their mom probably got eaten by a coyote. I know, so harsh, the realities of life, but oh, you're cute blue eyes. I'm cute, somebody take me. Um, anyway, don't jump up here again. <laughs> uh, anyway, spiral bowls. Uh, they, they turned out better this time, meaning the colors stayed. I didn't like the colors I picked. Just a personal choice. Some people may like the colors, so I'm not going to say they turned out bad because they actually turned out pretty good. Uh, also, I tried my ash glaze, and I'll share that kiln opening with you. And also, I did some hand building. <gasps> you when I very first started doing clay I didn't want to do any hand building because that's a class they make you take before you can learn on the wheel <laughs> Sorry, you just jumped up here anyway so that's when you learn before you're on the wheel and uh, I, I didn't want to do any of that and now I'm playing with it and I had so much fun doing hand building so now I've got two needs I need to throw on the wheel and I need to hand build so uh, hopefully I can get my my recent items up on Etsy so I can fund my fun as we'll call it, my fun fund, fund my fun. Uh, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, to making some more things in hand building. I'm gonna put you down because I can't think for some reason. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I was gonna tell you. Oh, yeah, I would have had things on Etsy, you know, but I'm used to my old house and my old lighting and my work, my old workshop. Now I have the new house with the new lighting and I can't seem to get my pictures right. They all look kind of bad. So hopefully uh, I can get a handle on that real quick. But you guys enjoy the video. Share with you what I'm up to. Share with me what you're doing too because I'm a little out of the loop. There's so many videos I'm backed up on. So I think I'm just going to start now and see where everyone is at uh, that I've been watching on, on YouTube. Um, yeah, I want to see some, get some inspiration and and uh, see what everybody's up to and what kind of creative things you're doing. So, hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. putting the underglaze, I mean putting a clear coat over um, the glazes here. I'm doing it just a really light coat in case, well I know some of this is already going to turn out shiny. I'm just trying to get the unglazed portions um, covered. Also trying not to blur my lines. Silly me, I forgot to take a picture of them before I put the clear coat on. Um, well, that's kind of the spiraling. That's going to be turquoise and black. And that one, oh my goodness, what color is that? That's going to be, I think it's indigo. Yeah, indigo. I'll take a picture of the box. Okay, these are the glazes I used today. Um, just for my own record. What I did was I used my gloss black to make the spirals. I used uh, these cone five glazes to also make the spirals. And I used a very thin layer of the clear glaze 
uh, not on the black gloss necessarily. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. But um, mainly just to cover the bare, um, the raw clay that didn't have any glaze on it. This one, okay, it's 87 degrees outside. All right, here we go. Cone, five. Speed slow, hold time 15. Uh, and I think I'm gonna hit start. And it's ready to rock and roll. I already turned my fan on. Uh, it should take about 12-ish hours. Okay, 13 hours, it's 97 degrees in there. Not sure it's gonna get a whole lot cooler because it's almost 97 degrees outside. So I think it's room temperature. Okay, let's see how it works. Ooh, can you see it? Oh, let's see how it goes. Okay, I can see the spirals, but what color was that? I don't remember using a yellow. Ah, okay. This was that ash dripping ash glaze. You know what, it didn't get to cone five. See my cones over here? That's cone four, that's cone five. Uh, turned out all right. Oh, I didn't mean to, don't step under my feet, little kittens. That was the turquoise, but it came out kind of green. to be purple. Wow, that did not come out at all. Or no, that was black. I had... Huh. I don't know. just not what I wanted. This was supposed to be, what color was this supposed to be? Oh, why is it blue? Uh, it's interesting. Wasn't trying to make that yellow though. <laughs> that's supposed to be sea, I bet that's sea glass. You know what? And I think sea glass has to be applied more thickly, so it might not be ideal for making spirals. Because you only get one chance at it. When you make a spiral, you 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 know, you like draw it down and you can't go over it and over it because you'll never get the same layer again. Another turquoise. I kinda like that one. That one turned out alright. I don't know what color you're seeing there, but turned out okay. 